what is up guys welcome back to the channel my name is day and this video is going to be about a question that lingers in my mind all the time and um, I, i'm pretty sure the people out there who continuously ask themselves this question and it's a simple question it's what is the best way to learn about cybersecurity, or more accurately where do you start learning cybersecurity? this question continuously lingers in my mind because i am still in the early stages of my career and i'm still learning about the basics i'm still learning about cybersecurity. and i know for sure that when i first started i used to think to myself a lot i would ask myself like okay maybe there's a course that encompasses everything that if i take this one course i would know everything about cybersecurity or a certification this certification is going to teach me everything about cybersecurity. or you know i have to start hacking first i have to learn how to hack i have to learn how to um code um or there's so many things that come to mind when it comes to learning about cybersecurity. and trying to know where to start from was difficult and i know it could be difficult figuring that out and so i think i will try to answer that question in this video um but disclaimer there is no sure way um to learn everything about cybersecurity. there is no um particular path it all varies it depends on who, um, who you ask it depends on your experience it depends on so many things but i would do my best to kind of um answer the question based off of my own experience so there are people out there who have been tech savvy since they were kids you know the people out there who have been coding in java or visual visual basic since they were six and they're like uh, programming gurus or hacking gurus uh there are people out there who have been building their um, computers since they were kids i didn't build my first computer until i was 18 and you guys saw that um if you did not see that if you did not see me struggle um i'll leave a link to the video somewhere up there um so different paths and different experiences vary there are people out there who did not who have not had any experience with computers until their 30s or to their 30s their 40s and are just now trying to you know get hip and trying to learn more about um it or cybersecurity. and you cannot compare you know those those kind of people to other people who have been doing this since they were kids right who have you know who have a lot of, a lot of base knowledge that will help them learn um cybersecurity faster so i would say that in order to understand cybersecurity, in order to get started in cybersecurity, it is important to understand the basics and and it is important to know that cybersecurity is a subset of information technology and information technology covers so many things it covers software aspects it covers networking it covers security it covers data and analytics information technology covers so many things and cybersecurity is just one subset and for you to have a good grasp of concepts in cybersecurity, it is important to have a general understanding of information security. It's just like like college, right? Before you start taking advanced classes or classes specific to your major, they make you take um, general study classes, right? Like basic math, um, English, writing, everything, because it is important to have those um, prerequisite skills before moving ahead, right? If you don't understand how to do basic math, how do you progress to calculus? And if you don't understand calculus, how do you progress to higher math topics, right? If you don't understand the basics of computer science, how do you progress to data structures and the algorithms? So that's why you need to take those prerequisite classes, those basic classes before going ahead to taking the more advanced classes. And that's the same thing with cybersecurity. It is important to understand the fundamentals of information technology, right? Understanding the fundamentals of, of hardware, of software, of understanding the fundamentals of networking, the fundamentals of security before moving ahead to, um, I guess, specializing in um, cybersecurity. Information technology, like I said before, covers so many things and it's so easy to get lost in trying to, you know, figure out where do you, do, what, what do I need to learn? There are so many courses out there that um, claim to be the all-in-one cybersecurity course where you learn everything about cybersecurity and this is in no way shape or form trying to discredit those courses because I do believe there are courses out there that can teach you the basics of everything you need to learn but one course cannot be your savior one course is not going to teach you everything because the journey in in cybersecurity is continuous there's always something new to learn but it is also important to emphasize 
the importance of the fundamentals because once you understand the fundamentals it's easier to pick up things along the way and um a lot of people who um who are i guess like higher up in in, in cybersecurity have experience in different areas right and these different areas include basic it you know help desk some people have experience in system administration some people have experience in network administration network engineering um some people have experience in like software development so all of this um, past experience comes together to give them the knowledge, the general knowledge that helps them succeed as cybersecurity professionals. But you are just like getting started in your journey, right? And like you don't have um, help this experience, you don't have system administration experience, you don't have network engineering experience. So how do you cover that knowledge gap? Here is my personal recommendation. I think the first step in this is to actually figure out if cybersecurity is right for you and if this is really what you want to do because it is important to have a passion for what you want to do to have a passion for learning because this industry is all about learning it's a continuous learning journey there's always something new there's always a new vulnerability a new hack so it's something new all the time and you need to be sure that you're ready for this you're ready for this challenge it is a fun challenge but you need to be sure that this is really for you when you've made that decision and you're sure that this is for you then i think it's important to draw out a plan of how do you want to pursue this goal how do you want to pursue your your, your learning in, cyber, in cybersecurity? because eventually the the end goal is you know to start getting experience to get a job or to get an internship so how do you want to achieve that? Do you want to go the certification route? Do you want to go through college? Do you want to go through a boot camp? Uh, there's so many things to consider, right? Because all of these different routes are amazing routes. I'm not even, this is not a video talking about um, which one is better. College certifications, boot camps, experience, they're all good things to me. And you need to, you need to know, is this, which, which of these ones are my, going to go through so if you're going through the certification route there are several certifications out there you could get lost in a in a rabbit hole of certifications my personal recommendation for uh, cybersecurity is going through the a plus network plus and security plus i say the a plus because this video is directed towards people who are not who are techno who are generally not tech savvy who probably have not had like too much experience with their computers probably just they probably just use the computers for you know web browsing and um just normal things that normal people do but i think the a plus material gives you a really really solid foundation a really really a really really solid foundation there's just not nothing much to say because um like i said it's really important important to understand the fundamentals of, of it so a plus covers a lot of things it covers um hardware software um, networking, a little bit about security, a little bit about cloud. It covers so much. And if you're able to grasp the con con content and concepts in the A+, it would help you as you build um, on higher level certifications. So the A+, first, Network+, plus because networking is an important aspect of cybersecurity. And if you understand networking, then it's, it, it will be easier to, to grasp um, concepts in network security and you know of uh, um, cyber security in general and then the security plus because you know that's like the holy grail of security certification um, if you decide to go through the certification route then that is my personal recommendation so i do not personally know of any courses that are like complete cyber security courses that you know i can recommend personally recommend but i can recommend learning resources that you can use in case you're looking for these courses i actually made a video um dedicated to that so i'll leave a link to it up here um it um, contains like all the learning resources i use um for cyber security um i've like i sometimes i binge courses because like i want to learn something about um a particular topic now and then so all of these resources are resources that I have personally used and um, probably taken one or two courses from there or even more because I use some of these resources heavily than other ones. So um, I'll leave a link to it um, in the description up there so you can have access to it. Um, go through all of these resources, all of these um, um, training websites and see which one you like the most, you know, maybe their teaching method or, you know, the price range, everything like that. And just see whichever one, you know, suits you. I do not have anyone personally to recommend, but um, just go and see what suits you. And then if you decide to go through the college route, there are different ways for the college route. You can choose to go through a computer science major. If you are ready to go through like software, learning about software, learning about um, going through the rigors of math classes, 
and you know advanced um, computer science um, theories. Computer science is the route for you. Um, I think it's the best route. Cybersecurity degrees are also a great route to go. They're relatively new, so be careful in making that choice and choosing the degrees that are cybersecurity degrees. I actually made a video comparing degrees and certifications, and I do a lot. I did highlight some things to watch out for in choosing cybersecurity degrees. So I'll leave a link to the video somewhere up. Then there is also the option of boot camps. I have heard about boot camps here and there, and I think that. Boot camps are, are geared more towards people who are coming from a different um, a different field, right? Maybe from business or maybe from accounting, and you know they already have like a like a bachelor's degree, and probably do not want to go through another bachelor's degree, and so they go through this boot camp, and you know this boot camp is probably like three six months, and teaches them the basics of cybersecurity, and from the people I've actually interacted with that have gone through these boot camps. I've seen that these boot camps are really comprehensive and they cover a lot of things. So it would be really important to research about them, learn more about them, um, make sure that you're making the right decision because it's also a really great fin financial decision. So that's something to look out for as well. So as you guys have seen in this video, I have not given a solid answer. I haven't said that um, this is the right way to go. This is the path to go because I believe that everyone has their different backgrounds, their different um, ways of learning, their different um, end goals. So I can't like specifically tell you this is the route to go, this is the best, best route to go because everybody goes through different routes. And another thing I can advise you to do is look at people in the cybersecurity industry like I'm probably working in a cybersecurity position that you want to end up working in and go through their LinkedIn profiles, go to their LinkedIn profiles, look at you know their educational backgrounds maybe the certifications they took or you know their the route they took maybe they went through help desk um to system administration just look at just look at different things and because you will definitely see some similarities some differences and then you could use that in you know planning out how you want to map your own learning journey and just um, take different things from different people. I, I know I do that sometimes. I go on LinkedIn and I see an individual that, oh, I actually like, you know, what they're doing. I like that they work as a penetration tester or they work as a cybersecurity analyst. So I go to the LinkedIn profile. I see, you know, their educational backgrounds. I see what school they went to or if they even went to school at all. Um, maybe certifications they took, maybe job past job experiences. And those things kind of help me see how they might have gotten to where they thoroughly are and just kind of think about hmm, how can I probably incorporate this into my own path makes you think about how can I incorporate some of these things into my own path and you know do I need to do that do I not need to do that or, or do I find this thing interesting and do I need to learn about this I think it's about sometimes it could be about comparing and contrasting and just looking at other people you know studying other people seeing what has worked for them and seeing if it will work for you and um that is just my my own two cents um i hope this video was of help to somebody out there and i hope that you know uh, you found value in this video and it helps you uh make a decision on how to go about your own learning route to cybersecurity. so if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button make sure to subscribe and comment down below what you think um also, if you found value in this video and you know anyone who it might be of value to, please make sure to share the video. Um, it helps. All of it helps. Like and subscribing. It all helps with the um, um, the YouTube algorithm and, you know, making my video, I guess, more popular. Making people see the video because, you know, it's great to see people watch the videos and find value in them. So, uh, you know, the drill. Like, subscribe, comment, everything. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next video.